day four, alcohol free. What did I do today? I got up about 6.30, made coffee, let the dogs out. Um, didn't really walk them very far because I knew I was gonna take them out later. I sat down for about 35 minutes. I should have rolled out and stretched out, but I just didn't. And then uh, Mary Catherine got up and so I let her have my phone while I went out and I walked the dogs. I took them, um, I can't see anything from here, but anyways, down this trail, left, all the way down the canyon, well, creek bed down there, it's not really a canyon, it's not that big, about a quarter mile down, and I got rocks, which are right here. Now we've got tons of rocks. I've, we've actually started a wall up by the house up there, and uh, these are gonna be for the vineyard, and it's gonna basically take me the rest of my life. I did two backpack loads today, and it was pretty good. And we're out here, there's a big flat spot out here. It's my bonfire pit. Yep, it's surrounded by logs. Worst part about it is, Stephanie doesn't like to come out here anymore, because we're in the woods. You know, we're not really out here in the woods. So I got done with that, and I got motivated, and I started to work on the vineyard. I don't know if you saw those videos before, but this was the first thing we did. We flattened this out a little bit. Obviously, we got more flattening to go here, which I'm not too worried about right now. And, you know, a little more flattening down there, trying to cover up these logs. And then, today, I even had an hour help with my boy. We cleared all this out. This whole, I don't know, about two feet, dug it down, and I started just throwing it down here. So it's not, it's not level, it's not flat, flat, but it's pretty good. And you see those logs are pretty much buried all the way up to the top right now. And then it goes down right over there. They're pretty much buried. And uh, I'll get down here. <clears throat> so it's getting pretty flat. And then the next step after we flatten this out is to make all this nice and pretty, cover those logs, finish this little line up right here, and then move more dirt down and cover up the rest of these logs over here. And in here, what I've planted, I've got, well, there's only three grapevines, but there's tons of grapevines, like uh, wild grapes. Those are all wild grapes. Uh, that whole tree is full of them. They're everywhere. Well, there's a lot you could do with that alone, and there's tons of grapes on them. But we got three grapevines growing. One's right there, one's behind me, and another one's over there. And uh, I came out here because I had so many tomatoes and peppers and things like that grown from seed. I planted wildflowers, I've got some squash, I've got some melons, I've got um, some cucumber, peppers galore, um, and tons of herbs. I mean a ton of herbs. I came out here with about everything I could I could muster. I came out here with um, you know, everything from parsley, cilantro, dill, basil, um, thyme, oregano, and I, that's kind of my other goal. Like I definitely grow grapes out here, but man, I I would love to have a huge, badass, kind of English-looking herb garden. And that's what those rocks will be for. So probably today I'll go down there with Harlan and get some more rocks. You know, maybe I'm going to get a family vacation. Just walk down there and put a couple rocks in the backpack, come back up, do that kind of shit. And that's what we got going on. But this is, uh, everything's growing really well. That's what I'm impressed about the most. And then as we move the dirt, it just starts looking better and better. And then you see if I can cover those up. It looks better and better and then eventually get one of those companies once i find them i mean they're always cleaning the roads up and getting uh wood chips and stuff like that give them to come in and just dump wood chips and i, I mean i could use it all that they would give me because everywhere i've ever been i've always been able to get free wood chips so it'll eventually happen but that's it alcohol free and it's noon and we're gonna do basketball practice then we're gonna do airsoft i went and bought harlan a glock airsoft so we're gonna practice that and uh, that's what we got going on today. Take it easy.